I love this time of the year where I take out my scented candles and I light them and my house just smells amazing. This morning when I was lighting my uh, candle, it got me thinking, you know, relationships when they just begin, when they first start out, it's completely full uh, of promise, of happiness, of the future, just like a candle. A candle, when you first buy it, it's filled with wax, completely filled with wax. And what happens over time is we're just living. We're just living and you light that candle. And there's everyday stresses and it kind of burns the candle a little. And then there's, you know, hurts and misunderstandings and the candle burns a little bit. Um, but if both parties are continuously investing transparency and um, intimacy, and I mean, you know, spiritually, emotionally, financially, um, you're connecting, you're bonding, you're um, you're speaking each other's love language. You're going out of your way to feed each other's, you know, souls. You, you, you inject some safety and reassurance and you put some of that wax back in. But when these things don't happen and the wick is just burning continually, the wax just gets lower and lower and lower and lower. Then if there's a big significant event, a betrayal, infidelity, you know, something, you are now taking 95% of that wax completely out of the candle. In a lot of relationships, you didn't have 95% to spare, so it's done. Um, in some relationships, that takes such a huge toll from the relationship, this big major event, that you're, you're really just living on fumes in your relationship and it's going to take a massive amount of building trust, reassuring, injecting safety, being transparent, injecting, you know, all these things that are needed to grow that wax again. Because if you don't put in the work, not only initially in your relationship to inject, I say all the time, relationships are like gardens. You, do you want the freshest, most delicious fruits and vegetables? You better be tending your garden. You better be watering it and putting on sunshine and going out there playing violin and sweet talking those turnips. So make sure that you are doing all of that to your marriage and your relationships as well. Because like a bank account, you can't keep going to the bank and making withdrawals without eventually making you know a deposit. Same with marriage and relationships. You gotta deposit those things. A, a big act of betrayal or infidelity will completely rob all of your finances from your account. And they'll take a lot of wax out of your you know, metaphor candle. So what I'm trying to say is at the beginning of the relationship are opportunities to get into good habits, to continually invest in one another, feed one another, speak to one another's soul and love language. Because the last thing you want to do is just get complacent and before you know it, the candle wick completely burns out.